So you can see all the tiny little white flies underneath the leaf. Let's try the solution. Kill them. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to make my own all natural and organic insecticide. I do have a problem with white flies and white flies are these tiny little white flies that live and breed underneath the leaves of plants, especially the nightshade family such as tomatoes, peppers, etc. Eggplant is part of nightshade and they're hard to get rid of because they're under the leaves. So unless you're actually looking under the plant you don't normally see them and if you just spray them with water or something like that they just fly away and they come back and they breed and they suck the juices out of the plant and eventually um, white fly infestation can kill the plant if it's unchecked they do breed very fast so it's highly advisable to get rid of them as soon as possible so here we're gonna start with one cup of vegetable oil. In this case I'm using grapeseed oil. It's 100% grapeseed oil. One cup. The reason why I didn't want to use regular vegetable oil because it said it's made with genetically modified ingredients and I didn't want to um, have that in my natural recipe here. Okay so one cup of vegetable oil, grapeseed oil in this case. And by the way all the stuff that I'm using here I'll leave links in the description in case you want to check that out. We also have soap. In this case, we have Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. 100% pure peppermint essential oil, as well as organic tea tree oil. And the tea tree oil is also really good for mosquito bites. If you do get bitten and you rub a few drops on the bite, it takes that itchiness away within five minutes. So it's great for that. I have a smart scale here, just in case. I'm reusing this bottle to pour the final solution in. It's a spray bottle, okay? So this spray bottle is already filled with water. Three cups of water in here, okay? So here we go, starting one cup vegetable oil. In my case, grapeseed oil. We're gonna do one tablespoon of natural soap. You can use dish washing liquid preferably natural without any bleach or any antibacterial ingredients apply liberal amounts of organic tea tree essential oils so that was probably like 30 drops i'm gonna do a little bit more on peppermint probably gonna do like 10 more drops even though that the soap i'm using already has that so i'm gonna stir everything together to dilute it with water, we're gonna use one and a half teaspoons for every cup of water, okay? So there's three cups of water in here. So that means 1.5 times three, that's 4.5 teaspoons that I'm gonna use. All right, that's one. So that's about four teaspoons since I'm using a tablespoon and this one's gonna be like half so about this much Okay, going to close it up Shake it up and use it in the garden to try it out I'm Excited to try it because those white flies are really annoying So I'm literally going and turning each leaf upside down. I know it's kind of labor intensive, but it's pretty effective. And I'm spraying it like half an inch away. That doesn't give them a lot of time to fly away. And hopefully it just kills them pretty fast and just drench, drenches them. The idea is to drench them in this and also to create a layer that will not welcome them that will make them not want to come back because the essential oils and the combination of soap is pretty strong and the reason for the soap is because these white flies like certain other bugs for example aphids they have a waxy protective coat that protects them it's like an extra protection for them 
makes them basically harder to get rid of. Look at those guys. Thought I sprayed it. Check on this every day because they might come back and you want to reapply reapply this mixture until all these white flies and aphids are gone and you will have much healthier plants thanks for tuning in and until next time aloha <laughs>